What's going on everyone? It's Simon and today I'm walking you through what I used on a ultra lightweight run and gun project recently in West Africa. I want to start this with a little discussion of what the project was. I can't say exactly where I was, but I was in West Africa where it was 110 to 120 degrees in the middle of the afternoon. I was walking around all day and I needed to be lightweight and nimble. I didn't know exactly what I was getting into, whether it was stills and video, exactly how it was going to play out. The way the project worked is I was in a very high security area working with a hospital and there was certain restrictions that we didn't know how we were going to approach things. So I had to be really flexible and ready for whatever it was going to turn into. But at the same time, I also needed to be super light and compact so that way if something did come up where we had to do an evac, I would be able to quickly grab and go, uh, not too much stuff that I would have to deal with. If you haven't seen my what's in my bag video, I'm going to link that up there quick. Uh, that gives you a general walkthrough of kind of what's always in my bag. But this one, I'm going to dig more into the specifics and I'm going to explain a little bit of why I picked certain equipment over other things. Uh, first of all, we're going to start with, I used my very typical Shimoda Design Explorer 40. Uh, I absolutely love this bag. It has been a rock star for me. And as you can see, I've got this thing pretty well loaded up. With the glide cams and the tripods, I was somewhere in the ballpark of about 40 pounds of equipment on it. Um, this includes everything that I was also carrying as I went over. Some of the stuff didn't go to the hospital with me every day, but it did allow me to have everything easily accessible as needed. Uh, every day, this is pretty much how I had everything rigged on the outside. As you can see, I have two tripods and the glide cam. Uh, so we're going to start with that. Um, we'll pull this off as we go so it lets us get in. This is how I rig my glide cam onto a bag so that way it stays nice and tight to the bag. Uh, I also like setting it like this because the footing on the glide cam also helps keep my bag upright instead of flopping over or if I'm intentionally setting it over, it lets me do that as well. I, I don't have any real issues with it messing with the, the sled of it, so it hasn't been too, too bad. The reason why I took the glide cam for this one is I wanted the simplicity. I didn't know how much I was going to use it and carrying another battery in my carry-on was not necessarily feasible. Without the glide cam and tripods, my bag was still about 30 to 35 pounds, which is not a fun thing to carry through the airport all the time. Uh, so that way it was just one less thing. I didn't have to carry like a Ronin battery or a Ronin S battery. Uh, just one less thing I had to worry about. Um, and I did use it some, didn't use it quite as much as I would have anticipated, but that's because again, I didn't know what I was getting into. And so I wanted to be ready for whatever. Then on the other side, we've got a Suray W2204, which is kind of my uh, stereotypical bigger tripod with just a generic Arca Swiss ball head on the top. And then I'm going to lay this ladies down. Then on the other side, we've got a tiny little Benro tripod. This was in my other video. Uh, super handy. I absolutely love this thing just because of how small it is. Uh, it's new to the kit, but it was great, especially for this trip, because of the fact that it is so small and lightweight, but yet I'm able to do pretty much whatever I need to with it. Uh, so that is what I pretty much carried for stabilization. Uh, I also had my RX100 handy at all times. I leave my little case on the outside, so that way it's super accessible, nice and easy. Then my handy dandy water bottle. This thing is a tank. Uh, I absolutely love it. I've definitely beat it up a fair amount. I've dropped it out of vehicles and such. As you can see, it's um, seen better days. But because of the temperatures, I was actually drinking about four of these a day. And it's, a, I think, a 40 liter bottle. Um, and honestly, I was just sweating it straight out after. So 
that was there. And then I've got my handy little water bottle pouch from Think Tank Photo on there. Then because of the weight, I actually upgraded this bag to the Pro Plus straps from Shimoda. It's got a bit more padding on it, which is super awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, then in this pocket right here, because of everything going on, I was carrying tissues and hand sanitizer. Uh, the hand sanitizer is definitely becoming a little bit more of a staple with all of the health issues going on in the world right now. Then as we swing around, I've got this little pouch from REI, which is my handy dandy snack pouch, uh, keeping some cliff bars in there and then I also was keeping a pair of latex gloves. That's something that ever since doing my wilderness first aid, I wanted to keep a pair of these handy at all times. So that way, if I ever ran into a situation, I would be ready. Uh, again, just trying to be ready for whatever may happen. Then on this backpack strap, I keep all of the other goodies of, you may never know when you're gonna need it. Microfiber cloth, gum, Inside, we've got Sharpies and uh, lens pens, regular pen, a multi-tool thing from a small rig that it doesn't have a knife on it, but it has all of the different Allens and flat and Phillips, uh, comes in super handy. Never know when you're gonna need it. Then my gaffer's tape card and down in the bottom, of course, my gas X always comes in handy. And that is what I have in here. I think that's it. Yep, that's everything in that pocket. Um, as you can see, we're uh, packing this thing pretty well. Then up here on the top, I keep what is called the Hero Clip. This is a newer edition. Um, Chris Burkhard was talking about these and turned me on to them. Uh, it's a carabiner that has a little hook on it so you can hang items comes in super handy when you're trying to like weigh down a tripod to keep it stable shooting time lapse, uh, but it folds into itself and makes it just a carabiner. I uh, love this thing, definitely a great add to the kit. Uh, it's been super, super helpful on this past project. Now we're gonna come onto this top. We're gonna start here. Uh, this is the top of the main compartment. In true fashion, you gotta have the snacks, got Sour Patch Kids, and then my data backup kit. I did not bring a laptop on this project. I know it's crazy. I went completely in on the Narbox. I picked this up from the boys over at the company. I absolutely love them. Originally, I was gonna use this as a, like a redundancy for my laptop. But because of the nature of this project, I really wanted everything to be in one carry-on bag when it comes to equipment. So that way I would have one carry-on and one checked. Uh, makes it less that I had to deal with in case of an emergency. Uh, gonna say, I absolutely love this thing. It worked really, really well. I was able to keep everything backed up. I was able to do some select while I was sitting there with the people from the NGO. And we were able to do some really cool stuff and Able, still able to do all of the work that I needed to do and all the backup so that way I was comfortable with what was going on. So yeah, Narbox was huge on this project. Then inside this case, I also had a couple other drives and some spare batteries and then like cables and some other things like that. So we're going to stack this up over there. Now we're gonna come up to the top pouch where all of the goodies are hiding. And this is that like small pouch on the top of the bag where I have the uh, X-Rite color checker. This thing's great for, that was the focus, but then like cut gray card if needed. I didn't have to use it on this project because of the way things ended up. Uh, my iPad pen, I love this thing. It's super, super helpful. Uh, little Manfrotto tripod, I use this with the RX100, it comes in handy. Sure, in your monitors. These are my go to's. Also, inside this case, I keep all of the airline adapters, so like the dual mono to headphone. And then I also keep my USB C adapter for my iPad Pro, which will pull out in a couple minutes. Um, and then I also have my headphone adapter for my, or the lightning adapter attached to the headphones, so that way they are always good to go. Uh, voila. 
Then we've got spare batteries. These are the uh, Z batteries for the Sony A7 series. I've got four of them in this case from Think Tank Photo. It's nice because it keeps me organized and then I can also know what's charged and what isn't charged based off of how I put the battery into the pouch. Then we've got the stereo shotgun mic from Zoom, which goes with the Zoom F1, which is what I was using for an audio recorder. Uh, again, I didn't know exactly what I was running into. Um, and then we also have this little hot shoe mount for the Zoom F1 as well. Um, the reason why I brought the Zoom F1 was because I didn't know what I was gonna run into and I wanted flexibility, but I also wanted it to be super small. And this allowed me to do a lav microphone because I also have a lav in there, or I could use it as a shotgun microphone, or I could just use it as a stereo mic depending on what I was trying to capture. Came in super handy, and again, it's super small and lightweight. It runs on tri AAA batteries, has a pretty good life. Um, yeah, super happy with it. Then we've got lens caps, uh, chapstick because always, then headlamp, always comes in handy. That's in the uh, the items that are not camera related that I always have, it's in there. Check that out up there. Then RX100 batteries with memory cards. This is super handy to have because the RX100 chews through batteries very quickly. So I always keep this in my pocket when I'm actually out filming. But when I'm like end of the day, it goes back into the top of the bag. Uh, another Small lens pen, which I use mostly on the RX100 or on my viewfinders. It comes in handy with viewfinders as well. Then we've got the Lytra Pros. These are my bread and butter lights. I uh, absolutely love these things. I have been keeping one of the little rubber diffusion covers and then one with barn doors. That way I have a little flexibility depending on what the situation is that I'm running into. And then of course my third one, because Got to have, got to have all of it. Then up in this top pouch, we've got another pair of rubber gloves because always be ready, especially with everything going on. And then Insta360 ONE X spare batteries. Uh, the reason why those are off kind of tucked away is because I wasn't necessarily sure how much I was going to use the Insta360. Uh, then we've got in the other pouch, all the lav microphones and some spare audio stuffs. Uh, this is so that way I'd be ready with the Zoom F1 if I needed it for an interview, along with a spare micro SD card for the Zoom F1. Uh, super handy, super great. Just be ready for whatever. And that is pretty much all that's in this top pouch. Got a couple euros left from the airport. That's about it. Now we're gonna swing back to the main compartment and one of the things I love about this bag is I can actually open it up. And then in this right here, we've got the iPad Pro. This was my kind of go-to way to have a little bit bigger screen for trying to do editing and sorting and then like review with the client. Uh, super handy, nice and lightweight, much lighter than my laptop, especially with the Narbox combo. Uh, I'm able to access it via Wi-Fi or USB-C. Um, also great for watching movies and things like that when we were traveling. I'm gonna set that down there totally out of the way. Now, the rest of the bag. So as you can see, we got a lot packed in here nice and tight. I'm gonna start up top. We've got, whenever I'm flying, I carry a deodorant because it comes in handy. Then I've got my, um, what I absolute necessity power. Inside this, we've got a international charger with USB ports or an international adapter with USB ports. I've got the Insta360 battery charger. I've got the Narbox uh, charger, various cables to charge everything from the Sony A7 cameras to the Insta360, to the Narbox, to the iPad, to the phones. Uh, basically I can charge everything, not necessarily charge everything at once, but this is like the, if I had to and lost my check bag, I could still get a new fresh charge. Then we've got the uh, filter bag, which is another little Shimoda cube. Uh, absolutely love this thing. I'm not sponsored by Shimoda in any way, shape or form. They have hooked me up with some free stuff before, but I am not getting paid to say anything about it. 
I just love their products. Um, and inside that I have the Breakthrough Photography Magnet Systems filter rings. Uh, this is the 82 and the 77. Then I also have here all of my Breakthrough Photography Magnet filters. I have the three stop, the six stop, the 10 stop, and the circular polarizer. Uh, super, super handy. I absolutely love these. Super nice system to use. And then I've got the Simog Lens Variable ND filter, which is an 82 millimeter thread. Um, absolutely love this filter. It's the, probably the second time I've really used it and it was fantastic. I absolutely love the hard stops on it. So yeah, super stoked about this one as well. And it did the job when I needed it too. Next, again, microfiber cloth, because keeping gear clean in a very dusty environment is very important. Uh, There's a lot, a lot of dust where I was, and so keeping everything clean was a huge issue. Uh, next, I'm gonna pull out of the center, uh, the Garmin InReach Mini. Again, because of the security issues, my mom really wanted to know every day that I was okay. And so I was able to use this to check in with her whether or not I had Wi-Fi because it wasn't guaranteed that we would have internet. Uh, so she was able to know everything was okay, we were good, so on and so forth. Then with that, we've got the uh, Peak Design straps. We've got two of these. One of them is the Sony Pro Services one, and then one is just another gray strap. Then I've got the Sony A7R 3 with the 24-70 f2.8. And apparently my front cap fell off. Uh, and then the deliciousness, the Stingers. Uh, they are little Stroopwafels, I think they're called. Um, it, it's not the actual brand Stroopwafel, but it's the same concept. Super delicious. If you need a little sugar, pick me up. A uh, little extra energy during the day. Then we've got the A7 III, which was my other main camera on the project. Uh, these have been my go-to cameras. Because of the nature of where I was going and what I was doing, I did cover all of the Sony branding on the cameras just to make it a little more discreet. Obviously, it still looks like an expensive camera, but if you don't see the word Sony, you don't necessarily know the big international brand that it pertains to. Then we've got the 16-35 f2.8, which is another fun lens that I've been using a lot of. And then we've got the 24-105 f4, which was kind of my like backup lens, uh, or if I, want, if I was running into a situation where I needed one lens for a day, that kind of thing. I did also bring a small cube from Shimoda that allowed me to break out a single camera for a day if needed. Uh, I did end up using it one day and it did come in handy. Then we've got the Sony ECM B1M, which is a fantastic microphone. Uh, I've talked about that in other videos. Then we've got the Geodos Rocket Blower. Again, keeping gear clean in these dusty, dry, arid environments is super, super tough. So being able to have everything right handy, ready to go is huge. Um, none immunity. Uh, this stuff, I absolutely love it. I enjoy it more than emergency or any or airborne. I think it tastes better. And with all of the chaos going on with medical stuff, comes in handy. And especially because airplanes are cesspools, taking some of that when I'm flying always comes in handy. Memory card wallet because you can never have enough memory cards for backup. Um, not really much else to say about that. Then the big boy 70-200 2.8 G Master. Uh, we use this some for time lapses where I really wanted to kind of compress and show like a specific area uh, and it just was great. I absolutely love this lens. It's been super handy. And last but not least on the inside, the Insta360 ONE X. Uh, this has been kind of like a camera I'm shooting BTS with and things like that. And it's come in handy. Um, I'm using it a little bit more, didn't use it as much as I had hoped just because of the nature of the way the week went, uh, but that's a whole different story for another day. Yeah, next and last but not least, the very, very front. So one of the things whenever I'm traveling flying, 
that I don't, it doesn't matter where I'm going, how far, domestic, international, whatever, my carry-on will always have a full change of clothes, so a pair of pants, and then a shirt with socks and underwear rolled into it, uh, and then a towel. Uh, the towel is so that way if something comes up where I get to a destination and my check bag does not make it, I can still shower and feel clean and less gross because when you've traveled for a long amount of time, you just want to feel clean. Um, and then behind the cube in my actual main compartment, we carried, there it is, Lysol wipes because always have Lysol wipes. And then we also carried paperwork and my wilderness first aid guide, which is now kind of like staying in that spot just so I have it in case of emergency, but it's out of the way. And then of course a backup notebook. Um, yeah. All of this fit into this 40 liter bag. And that's why it weighed uh, 35, 40 pounds. Um, if you guys have any questions about gear selection, why I picked certain gear, why I took certain gear, what made me, you name it, ask a question, uh, I'd love to answer it. Be sure you're subscribed and uh, hit that little uh, bell button down below so you get notified every time I upload another video. Uh, other than that, have a great week. I'll see you guys next time.